Fancy meeting you here. Inquisitor Lavellan. Slumming in the servants' quarters with the rest of your people, for once. We haven't been properly introduced, have we? I'm Ambassador Briala. Ambassador, is it? Whose ambassador are you exactly? If the nobility is going to treat elves as if we are not citizens, we may as well have the trappings of a foreign power. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinter blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? Gaspard killed him, I think. The knife has a Chalon crest on the hilt. I knew it. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers. But killing a council emissary? Bringing Tevinter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. The Empress needs to know what's going on. You can try to warn her. She won't believe anything from me. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. You know how to make a sales pitch, Ambassador. I'll give you that. I do, don't I? I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. More politics and double dealing. Is there anyone here who is not corrupt? There is so much conniving and backstabbing here. It makes me homesick. Majesty has a fondness for elven keepsakes, I see. I'll admit, I didn't think the Empress was this sentimental. Hold the area. Interesting. Is it true what they say? You're the Inquisitor, are you not? We heard stories of your accomplishments. I'd wager I have better tales than anything you've heard. I told you, Philippe. Not everyone fights an archdemon and lives to tell. It's an inspiration. 
If you'd like, Commander Cullen could give you all the details of that battle. He's in the ballroom. Really? But I shouldn't leave my pope. You'd only be gone a moment. Philippe, the world is coming to an end. If we don't hear his story now, we'll never have a chance. You're right. Thank you, Inquisitor. Let's go. I should look around. Inquisitor Lavellon. We met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Why am I not at all surprised that you want to see me now? This is Orlé, Inquisitor. Nothing happens by accident. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of... a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. I'm already taken, Your Grace. Your lover has nothing to fear. This is business, not pleasure. Have the Dalish gained a sudden passion for politics? What do you know about our civil war? I assure you, the effects of this war reach far beyond the borders of the Orlesian Empire. Perhaps it does. I should not be surprised to find the Empire is the center of everyone's world. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. I think I can agree with that, yes. Then you have lifted a terrible burden from my heart, Inquisitor. The world is filled with doubt and uncertainty. Fear rules more hearts than any empire. I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. 
Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? If I've learned anything, Your Grace, it is to put my trust in no one. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I thought dangerous machinations were the national sport in Orlais. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspard before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspar's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. It's a relief to do something other than fight demons and horrors. You still face demons and horrors. These ones are simply better dressed. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. I found Gaspard's knife in the lower levels, used to kill a man. His sister confirms he's the traitor. She offered up her own brother? She's more cutthroat than I realized. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Celine is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. I thought we were here to stop the assassination. Listen to me carefully, Inquisitor. What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes the best path is not the easiest one. You're asking me to decide what's best for Orlais. More than that, whoever controls the Imperial Throne will affect all of Thedas. You cannot stop Corypheus without a decision. You must support someone, or all is lost. Then we should support Selene. She is the rightful ruler. Why would we say otherwise? Because she led Orlais to this point. I say Gaspard, provided his sister is wrong about him. I would suggest Briala. She could bring true peace, not only to the Empire, but also to its elves. This is, however, your decision, Inquisitor, not ours. <laughs>